Okay, Candy, what you trying to do? Um, hey guys, what is going on? Happy fucking New Year. It's 2019 and I'm sorry I'm a little late on producing a video for you because I told you in my last video that I'm going to be more productive and being more consistent and being accountable for me producing content for you guys and I truly failed significantly so I am sorry I dropped the ball on that and I'm back with a whole new video and it's a video literally just showcasing all products for Sigma so if you would like to see how I created this look then please stay tuned I have gotten the privilege again to work with Sigma Beauty and if you follow me on Instagram you saw all the goodies that they gave me and what I really wanted to do in today's video was really showcase all the products that I received from Sigma to show you what you can actually create using the base brand brushes, the eye brushes, and also their liners as well. I do want to advise that this is not a paid sponsorship. This is nothing. It's just I received PR in the mail and I just thought to show you guys what the products are like because I really do believe in the company. They're just amazing and I can't wait for you guys to see the way that I created this look. So without further ado, and I'm just going to let the work speak for itself. So hey 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 let's get this glam started so we are going to start off with the lips because my lips are looking a little dry we're going to hop on and use the lather coconut lip scrub this scrub is amazing i did a full review on my instagram if you want to know for more details on it and once it's been removed we're going to go ahead and use the lather coconut lip balm now that's done we're going to hit the face we're going to use the Frasali rose gold elixir and then also Ahaya scrub petals their oil is amazing for the skin also did a review for that on my Instagram if you want more information about it and now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and now that the brows are done let's go ahead and start off with these eyes we're going to use the Sigma basic eye brush set and as you can see, the brush set comes with a ton of brushes. I'll make sure to leave the link to all these products down in the description box for you guys. So now we're going to be using concealer. This is the Too Faced Multi Sculpt Concealer and I'm using the shade Maple. And I'm going to apply that onto the lid and then I'm going to evenly disperse it and make sure that the concealer is not too tacky on the eyes. And the palette we're going to be using today is from Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. The first brush we're going to be using is Sigma Brush E Shading number E55. We're first going to pick up the eyeshadow and then gently press the powder into the concealer, taking my time because these are new brushes so I don't know how they're going to react to the eyeshadow. So just take your sweet time, don't rush it, just pat it in. Now to blend out the edges to create a nice soft radiant effect, we're going to go in with Sigma Brush Taper Blending E40. And we're going to start from the outer corner and then work my way into the eye using small circular motions. And I'm just going to continue on really creating this gradient effect so that the color pretty much like sinks into my skin. And as you can see, that sucker got blended out. Now using my favorite crease brush for really precise blending, this is Sigma Blending Brush number E36. So we're going to jump into Duchess and we're going to place that directly into the crease, blending directly inside of my crease and then blending that um, in windshield wiper motions. I'm going to bring that color all the way down because I want to really accentuate my crease, really define that out because we're going to keep the eyes pretty neutral today. Once that's been placed in the color pigmentation that I want, I'm going to then take that same blending brush again and just blend it at the top to make sure that I'm still creating that gradient effect. Now to deepen and decrease just a little bit, we're going to be taking Sigma Brush Small Angle number E65. And we're going to be using Anastasia Couture Shadow Palette. And this is their shade Noir. And I just want to apologize. I totally did not notice that it was out of focus. But we are going to be placing the eyeshadow the same way that my eye shape is. So I'm angling it down and I'm kind of creating this V, this outward V. And you'll see it here where it gets starts to shape in. And now with that same crease brush, we're going to go in and blend that black inwards into the eye to really create that definition. 
Now to go ahead and give myself a wing, we're going to be using Sigma's Liquid Pen Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Black. And we're just going to go ahead and create my little wing. And now that the wing is completed, we're going to go in with e.l.f. This is their 3-in-1 mascara. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my top lashes. And the eyelashes that we're going to be using today, this is from Bombshell Cosmetica Yummy Gummy Lashes in the shade or in the lashes Sour Apple. Now while the glue is drying on the eyelashes, I'm just going to go ahead and deepen the creases a little bit more. And we're going to pop on the lashes by looking down so you can see the complete eye shape. And now that that's done, we're going to do the other eye and work on the face. So now that the other eye is done, we're going to just go ahead and wake up the face a little bit. I'm using the Mara Bushido Rose Toner. And to give myself just a little bit more of a glow, we're going to be using the Cover FX Enhanced Drops. And this is in the shade Blossom. And I'm applying that in my highlighting points, so on my cheeks and right above the eyebrow. Once that's been blended out, we're going to be using this foundation. This is from Lancome, their Tint Adul Ultra Wear. And I'm using the shade F40. And now to work on the brushes here, we're going to go into the Sigma Dimensional Brush Set. This is for a more airbrush skin seamless application and the first brush we're going to dive into is Sigma Brush 3D HD Max Kabuki and we're just going to go ahead and blend that in and really work around the whole entire face taking my time and now that the foundation has been completely blended in we're going to go into the concealer we're using that same concealer we use on the eyes for the whole face And then for the contour, we're going to be using Fenty Beauty Match Sticks in the shade Espresso. Now to go ahead and blend out the concealer, we're going to be using Sigma Brush 4D HD Kabuki. And we're just going to go ahead and blend out the concealer. I started at the top of my forehead just because I wanted the concealer underneath my eyes to really brighten my skin. With Too Faced, you really do have to blend in the, the concealer, kind of let it get a little tacky, a little dry, and then blend it out. It just seems to give you the best coverage. So that is why the under eyes were not done first. Um, but we do go ahead and blend that in, and it does like seriously blend the heck out of the concealer. Um, there was no extra product, whatever there was, I didn't add on. I just kind of spread it out in the same place to kind of give it more coverage. It really did leave such a good coverage as far as concealer goes. Next to blend out the contour, we're going to be using a Sigma Brush Curd Kabuki number F83. And we're going to place it directly on my contour areas and then we're going to pretty much blend it upwards on my face to kind of bring out a blended uh, color together for the concealer and for the contour. Not everything's blended out, we're going to go in Sigma Brush Edge Kabuki number F87 and apply the powder. I apologize, I thought I told you or got screenshots of the powder, but I'm using the Sasha Buttercup to place on the face and just placing it all on my highlighting points. The amount of product wasn't needed at all, like it was just a little dab and I dabbed off the excess and it gave me pretty great coverage for the little bit of product that was on the brush. And then we're going to blend that downwards. And then reapply some rose water just to rehydrate my skin. And then I'm going to be using their 3D HG sponge, which you guys see me use all last year. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and press the rose water into the skin to make sure I don't leave any like watermarks on my skin for more flawless foundation. And now to go back in with the contour, we're going to be using the Anastasia 
Beverly Hills. This is their bronzer in the shade Mahogany. And I'm using that same brush and I'm just gonna reapply that to the contour areas. And then for highlight, we're gonna be using my favorite loose pigment. This is from ColourPop and Makeup Shayla. This is their loose powder highlighter in the shade Poise. And I'm using the Spotlight Duster on top to use as a highlighter and I'm placing that all in my highlighting points including giving some on my nose. Now that the face is pretty much done we're going to go back to the eyes. We're going to be placing Royal Prerogative right underneath the eyes. We're pretty much going to be using the same color scheme of the light brown, dark brown, then black and bringing those colors all together. Blending that out with a small crease brush and then we're going to use a little bit of the blending taper brush to blend that out. And then to finally add some definition into the bottom lashes by applying mascara. So anyway guys, uh, thank you so much for watching the entire tutorial. Let's just do a little rundown, okay? So I used the four brushes that came in the box. These brushes are amazing. I have no qualms with the concealer, with the carved contour. This really did fit my face perfectly and just was able to get in there and create that contour shape. Um, same thing with this brush for blending out my foundation. This is amazing one I didn't have to put any more product than what you saw me put on which is weird because normally I have to put a little bit more product on the brush in order for it to really blend out but it seamlessly gave me a flawless coverage and that's amazing this as the actual setting powder like that's insane I honestly thought it would have too much powder on it and it would just make myself look a little too kinky I'm like seriously shook on just the face brushes alone on how much it like changed the whole dynamic for me moving on to the eye brushes I got this one back in August and again this is one of my favorite blending brushes especially in the crease as you can see like I really wanted to create that defined pretty much just let it let it know that there's a, some deep in colors and that's just to kind of give myself on contrast the eye shading brush to lay out the beginning color amazing even using this on top of concealer that was still kind of tacky it didn't make the bristles themselves tacky and wet which would have again let the whole shadow be that way um, I also want to just point out that that's a reason why I took my time when I press it into the concealer I wanted to make sure that I didn't mess up the bristles by me just applying it with concealer so that tells me that when I use this brush I really need to make sure that the concealer is pretty blended in and not have it be really tacky otherwise it's it's probably gonna ruin the brushes but other than that like this it laid out the first color amazingly. The angle brush is really great too like it really fit into my hooded eyes which is nice it definitely kept the black in there this bad boy okay I had no idea that this taper blending brush would change my life. First blended out the first color to blend up to my brow bone to look really natural. Like it was insane how it just disappeared but yet it was still there like and then blending it out with the other colors. It's amazing. I also want to say to Sigma thank you so much for sending me all these beautiful brushes. Um, also letting me do your stories takeover on Instagram and showing how I like to wash my brushes using your cleaning solutions. Thank you Sigma. You guys are amazing to me. Like it's just a blessing to work with you guys it's amazing that I can show you guys and I can show them not all on Instagram but also on here so thank you <laughs> mama bear over here really appreciates it yeah if you have any questions leave them down below if you're part of my fam thank you so much for sticking with me and not unsubscribing and waiting for me to bring a whole nother video I appreciate your love and support and if you're new welcome welcome and just welcome I hope you enjoy the content I hope something about this video helps you either A, look at different product, or B, try to see what Sigma Beauty is all about. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, I'm going to stop rambling on, and I'm just going to shut up so we can end this thing. So yeah, I'm out of here. So thank you for watching my video. Yeah. Bye, guys.